All right, so today we're going to start looking at part number one on the worksheet provided. All right, here's part number one. We'll notice that we're missing our front view. I'm going to start by drawing in what my front view should look like. And there it is, right? This would be my front view. Right? When I'm trying to use on shape, I'm using the view that is the easiest for me to draw that I can extrude and simply be done with. In that case, it is my front view. So if I'm looking at this sheet, again, trying to create my front view, got on shape opened up, I'm gonna create document. I'm gonna label it part one. Again, I'm gonna use my front view, so I'm gonna start a new sketch on my front view. Go to the left here and turn these eyes off. Go to my view cube, click front, right? If I'm looking at my part, I'm gonna identify this point right here as my start. In this case, it goes down a half an inch, which is 0.5. I click on line, I click on this point, go down, I type in 0.5. Then it goes to the left. And I go back to my front view here, it goes to the left, 5, right? From my left side to the right side is 5. I click, 5, hit enter. Now I move upward. Go to my sheet, that's this line right here. I follow my blueprint over to my right side view that is two and a half inches from my bottom to my top. There, 2.5, hit enter. And I come across the top. This line here is one inch. Click, one. And then I can simply just finish off where I started. And there's my bound object. I go back to my blueprint, only dimension I haven't used, right, I've created all of my front view. I am missing this one and a half inches. That is my depth. That is my front to my back is 1.5 or one and a half. So I'm going to click on my symmetric view. I'm going to finish my sketch and I'm going to extrude it. Again, by 1.5, I hit my check. There we go, that is the part as we see it on the worksheet part number one.